biology students start in high school. Evolution is the change in genetic composition of a population from generation to generation. Darwin called evolution descent with modification. Fossils are found in sedimentary rocks that settle Fossils and strata inform us about organisms that populated the earth and that at the place. Jean, Jean Baptiste de Lamarck proposed the theory of use and disuse, which is the idea that parts of the body that are used become larger and stronger such as in giraffes, because they use their necks to reach the higher leaves, their necks grew. He also said that species could pass modifications to their offspring, which is called inheritance of acquired characteristics. Characteristics. He was wrong because traits acquired during a species' lifetime cannot be passed on. Only genetic traits can be passed on to offspring. While visiting the Galapagos, Darwin noticed different finches with beaks suited to their diet on the islands. He, his observations led him to publish The Origin of Species. In this book, he talked about adaptations and natural selection. Darwin called evolution descent with modification. He reasoned that all species descended from a common ancestor. As shown in this tree diagram, closely related species branch, branch from the same lineages. This diagram shows how an evolutionary tree works. The different numbered branch points show common ancestors where different species divided. The purple lines that are labeled show homologous characteristic, characteristics that are shared by a group of species, and the lines on the right-hand side show the different groups of organisms that developed. Darwin made three, four observations and two inferences. His first observation are that members of a population often vary greatly in their traits. Also, traits are inherited from parents to offspring, all species are capable of producing more offspring than their environment can support, and owing to lack of food or other resources, many of these offspring do not survive because of competition. His first inference was that individuals who inherited traits give the higher probability of surviving and reproducing in a given environment tend to need more offspring than other individuals. Also, the second inference was that this unequal probability of individuals to survive and reproduce will lead to the accumulation of favorable traits in the population over generations. Darwin took his evidence for evolution from many sources. He said that direct observations were a source of evolutionary evidence, such as HIV resistance from certain drugs and mosquitoes uh, becoming more resistant to pesticides. He also said that fossil records were evidence because evolutionary changes over time in various groups of organisms could be observed and monitored. He said that homologous characteristics, which are underlying structural similarities between species, also proved evolution, and that biogeography, uh, such as continental drift and the separation of early species to different areas, proved evolution. example of direct observations of evolution. Here we can see that mosquitoes, before they were um, adapted to resistance of DDT, they were less resistant, and as more DDT was used over the months, more and more mosquitoes became 
This shows an example of homologous structures. Uh, in different organisms, there is a similar hand, arm, and forearm structure made up of the phalanges, or fingers, the metacarpals, the carpals, or the wrist, uh, the two bones in the forearm called the radius and the ulna, and the humerus in the upper arm. These structures are similar 